So I've been putting a lot of thought into Modern Warfare 2's perk system because the rest of my life's priorities are out of whack anyway. And the conclusion I've come to is that it was arbitrary to store my bonus perk around halfway through a game and my ultimate perk at the end of the game. Then during the beta, they reduce the time. So you get your bonus perk basically at the beginning of a game and your ultimate at the halfway point, one minute and four minutes respectively. And uh, <laughs> what's the point of this? What is the point of having a perk system where the perks unfold throughout the match if you're just going to reduce the time in half and just basically give me the bonus perk 60 seconds into the game? There's something about not being able to have fast hands, cold blooded or spotter until 60 seconds into the game that just doesn't make any sense to me. What, what's the thinking there? What's the thought process? Like we don't want players being able to swap weapons quickly until 60 seconds has passed. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, uh, there's no rationale behind that. And then the ultimate perks the same way. You don't want me to have ghost until four minutes in. I can't have hardline until four minutes in. That doesn't, again, it's, it doesn't make sense. It's arbitrary. And I'm, this whole video isn't gonna be just me saying, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. What I'm saying is that this perk system only serves one purpose I can think of, and that is to reduce crutch perk usage so that not everyone you go up against is running the meta perk at every single minute of the game. Yeah, everyone might run Ghost throughout the life cycle of the game, but Ghost is only gonna be in around 50 to 60% of the match. That's the only rational reason I can see to employ this kind of perk system, is that you're trying to reduce the amount of crutch usage throughout a game, on a game-to-game -game basis. But do you know how you can reduce the effectiveness of a perk? Put it in a different tier so that it causes more player choice to occur. Or, and this also works, balance the perks better. M make the perks better. Like, refine and redesign some of your perk concepts so that they don't become awful crutches. Don't have a perk that keeps you off the minimap when you're just sitting in a corner. Don't have a perk that reduces flinch in a gunfight. Those are going to be go-to perks. Why put them in the game? Instead of putting an unbalanced perk or an unnecessary perk like Last Stand in the game on a timer, uh, just don't put them in the game. Or balance them properly so that they make sense. Like, how about we make Last Stand a death streak again? Five deaths in a row triggers Last Stand and we'll rename it Fighting Spirit, a very Yu-Gi-Oh card-esque name for it. Fighting Spirit, if you basically get killed five times in a row, your fifth death, you have a chance to fight back. Maybe you even pull out a pistol. Now, will this lead to people trolling? Yeah, maybe. Letting themselves get killed over and over again. Obviously, suicides wouldn't count towards this, but letting themselves get killed so that they can last stand you? Maybe that's a problem, but again, they're gonna be feeding your team kills while trying to be a goofy goober, and they're still heavily, heavily outmatched when they're on the ground. Again, just this is the thought process that needs to be employed. Not putting a perk that doesn't make sense on a timer, balancing and designing an interesting perk that affects the game in a more fun way for everyone. Or at least is unique. It might not be fun for everyone, but screw it. It at least should be unique and interesting to talk about. Instead, it's just, oh, they, they put Last Stand in and it, it, it kind of sucks and it's on a timer. I still think a pick six or pick five system, pick six if you want to include the secondary, or pick five if you want to just have the primary and secondary be guaranteed on the class. But either way, if you have pick five, you pick your lethal, tactical, and three perks, or you can have five perks, or you can have four lethal and tactical grenades, and then one perk. You know, you, you have five points, allot them how you want. If you want to be a nade spammer, great, but you don't get to have a lot of perks with that. Then have specialist. It's that simple. If people want to go for a specialist streak, then they should be able to do that. Maybe you want to load in with no perks and just a ton of grenades, but then have specialist as your strike package so that as you're going through the match, you're getting perks with every kill. That would be an annoying person to go up against, especially if they're really good at the game. But that decision has pros and cons. Yeah, you have a ton of grenades and you're going to get your perks, but you have to get a kill for every perk you want to get. Either way, what I'm saying is, this system I feel like could be improved upon a number of different ways. Whether they could have done a pick five system, they could have just done the three tiers of balanced perk system, they could have also given us the Call of Duty Ghost perk system where every perk has a point value and you have 10 points to allot to your class. Ghost could be a three point perk, Focus could be a three point perk, 
but then something like fast hands or extra tactical could be a two or one point perk. That could have been fun too. I keep saying this in numerous videos, so I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but Call of Duty has excelled in weapon customization. I've heard some people already start to say that they're sick of gunsmith and they wanna go back to a two to three attachment system or just a basic pick 10 system. And while some of those people might be serious, I want gunsmith to just be improved upon. I want gunsmith to get better with every iteration of Call of Duty now. I think gunsmith and create a class are two terms that I'm going to forever tie to Call of Duty. And the next Call of Duty that comes out that doesn't have gunsmith is going to feel a little less engaging to me as somebody who really likes to dive into customization. Drastically changing the look and the feel and the application of a firearm in an FPS game as usually simple as Call of Duty is, well, very fun to me. And again, that's subjective, but it just bums me out. It bums me out because the weapon customization is so important to me. It is so well done. It is so much more interesting now than it used to be but when it comes to making the rest of your class, when it comes to defining your playstyle, they completely drop the ball. The closest we've gotten to a good blend of things is Cold War because of the wildcard system. The wildcard system added a lot of customization to your class. I think both Modern Warfare and Vanguard are really kind of lame when it comes to defining your playstyle and building a class, especially Vanguard because of how their perks were screwed up for so long, and in my opinion, they're still not properly laid out in the tiers. You couldn't build a proper stealth class in Vanguard for months, and that's a damn shame. I think instead of putting perks we've already seen in Call of Duty in the past on timers, we should rebalance and recontextualize what those perks do. Instead of Ghost just being all the time or only when moving, how about make a new version of Ghost that reacts differently? Modern Warfare 2019 did this with EOD. EOD wasn't just flat jacket, take reduced explosive damage, it had this whole thing where if you hadn't taken any damage, an explosion really just couldn't kill you. There was like a damage cutoff for explosive damage, and when the game launched, EOD also allowed you to hack equipment. So EOD was a mix of engineer and flakjack. And now later they put the engineer thing on the spotter perk, which is essentially just the engineer perk anyway, which is better, it made more sense, but what I'm saying is it's fun to play around with concepts. I kind of like the idea that the EOD perk wasn't just flak jacket, it was like a perk that turned you into a bomb disposal unit. You can hack and disarm equipment and take heavily reduced damage from those explosives. That's the kind of creativity I would like to see in Modern Warfare 2. Redefine what the hell these perks do and put them in a system that doesn't limit people by arbitrary timers or just arbitrary limits in general. The perks should be bonuses that build your playstyle to how you want. And what Modern Warfare 2 is doing, what Infinity Ward is doing, seems to be arbitrarily limiting players instead of being creative with their own perk system, being creative with their own perk descriptions and contexts. And that, I think, is a really sad thing to see. Like, instead of designing interesting good perks, just put them behind timers and basically screw it. Also, not so hot take, there should be a base perk that allows you to carry two more attachments on your weapon. That way you could have seven attachments, but you have to give up a base perk because you only get two base perks if you wanna spend one of them on two more attachments. I'm not gonna complain and I think that'd be really fun to see. So those are my perk opinions. Thank you Infinity Ward for making it so I can get to my bonus and ultimate perk faster during the beta, but I hope at launch you have rethought this idea entirely. I'm not gonna hold my breath for it, but I'm really hoping that, at least in life cycle, at least in this game's life cycle, this perk system gets a rework. See you when I see you guys. Goodbye.